Welcome to another update by Force 13 on Tropical Storm Florence. This is our first update on the system. Uh, we've been covering Jebby a lot, but we finally got some time to switch over to Florence. As of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, it is located at 15.6 degrees north and 29 degrees west, moving west-northwest at 16 miles an hour with a minimum pressure of 1,002 millibars and maximum sustained winds of 45 miles an hour. This storm f is forecast to stay well over the open Atlantic for the next five days. It is getting gradually or better organized. We can see that in the satellite imagery, but intensification is forecast to be slow over the next five days. You can see the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. You can also see the intensity marks for some times in the cone as well. You can see over the next five days, the system's going to move almost completely just to the west-northwest, maybe a bit more northward motion as we enter days four to five. Uh, intensity forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Also, there's a tropical storm all the way through. Yesterday and the day before, they were saying hurricane, but this has changed a bit downwards. They right now say maximum sustained winds at day three. Three or four will be 65 miles an hour before it's just slight weakening to 60 miles an hour. We will go over those reasons right now. Let's start off here with the wind shear map mode for Tropical Storm Florence. You can see right now this is definitely going to be the main limiting factor for intensification because even though the storm's in pretty warm sea surface temperatures, wind shear is quite moderate to high even on the western side of the storm. This has been why the system's organized a bit slower than originally anticipated and that's why it isn't expected to become a hurricane in the next five days anymore. It is going to be moving into an area of lower wind shear over the next few days, and normally that would allow for intensification, but as you can see right here, it is also going to be moving into an area of significantly colder sea surface temperatures, and this will really prevent much intensification from occurring. Any intensification will probably be quite gradual over the next couple of days, and because the system is going to be weaker than anticipated, this has actually caused a westward shift in the forecast track and the models as well. Um, you'll see right here, I'm going to pull it up. The reason that sea surface temperatures are not going to be as supportive, they're actually significantly below average, almost a degree or two below average in some areas where the storm is heading. These two factors combined will have some intensification, but probably not a lot happen over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at some of the computer models right now for Tropical Storm Florence. This is the GFS model. This is the best one that I can pull up right now with these kind of graphics. You can see it also shows gradual intensification with the westward motion. It actually is a bit stronger than the kind of the other models around the Euro shows a weaker system. GFS actually brings it up to minimal hurricane status. This is, like I said earlier, stronger than most of the other models are saying right now. And because this system is a bit further east and north than what the Euro is saying as well, European model keeps it a bit west and further south. Although we also have to keep in mind the models have shifted right now to say the ridge north of the system will be stronger and this may also have a role in pushing the system a bit further west than we originally anticipated. Let's lastly take a look at some of the satellite imagery of Tropical Storm Florence right now. Here's the GOES-16 high-res visible satellite imagery. You can see over the past couple hours that the sun has set over the system. Its banding has improved over the past day or so. The system would actually be stronger if you just looked at it like this, but you have to know that the center of circulation isn't actually over that main convection. So the system is actually a bit weaker than it looks. And also, as we were talking about intensity earlier, we'll go over the water vapor imagery right now. Even though it's in pretty moist air right now, as it moves west-northwest and enters those colder sea surface temperatures, it's also going to be entering drier air with this heron air layer, even though it started to lift a little bit as we enter peak season. So even though wind shear will be lower, as we talked about just a minute or two ago, dry air and lower sea surface temperatures will limit intensification of the system. That's going to wrap things up here for update 1 by Force 13 on Tropical Storm Florence. Hopefully this video has provided you some valuable information. Let's go to some of the outlets. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. If you're watching this on Facebook or any other platform, go to youtube.com slash c slash force13 to view us there. We're also on Facebook and Twitter at force13 on text. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook as well. We also have a Patreon. If you guys want to help us out financially, help the channel grow even bigger and better, link for that will be down below as well and we're also on discord you can add full 13 at extension 9094 on discord or add us on force 13 at skype to join the discord server the server will actually be going public soon so this won't be necessary soon enough there will actually be links in the descriptions of future videos but do that for now anyways thanks for watching